Lil Mo Films. You watching the chitlin' circuit. Y'all know what it is. Lil Mo Films. So um the chitlin' circuit. What do the what do the chitlin' circuit? When when I say the chitlin' circuit, what that mean to you and what you think about what come to your mind when the I say the chitlin' circuit? The chitlin' circuit, it sound like since we're in Chattanooga, it sound like something like with the uh DJ coalition people got going on. And it's chilling circuit sound like you got a whole network around Chattanooga, yeah you know I mean chilling circuit. I know it ain't just you. I know you got a team, yeah you know I mean it's like mm -hmm. a like a coalition. Yeah, yeah. That what it sound like to me. I'm talking about that shit from that shit from goddamn Louisiana, yeah. Mississippi, Alabama, yeah. Tennessee, yeah. Georgia, yeah. all the way up to the to the DMV. You feel me? Like that that's that's where it started with the blues and the jazz and all that. They used to mm -hmm. have to come through the chilling circuit. Yeah. And it's the same thing in the game. Like all them folks be coming through these towns before they blow up, and then you got to come through there before you blow up. Damn, the everybody who done yeah. blow it up. Then came and then because of the chilling circuit, we don't need New York. We don't need yeah. these other places. Yeah. If you big down south, if you big in this region, you gonna That's be able to eat through that motherfucking yeah. chilling circuit. It's just like so we don't never get our props though. So I figured out a way to y'all gonna have to respect this, and you can't lie, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like okay, yeah, y'all brought this to the game. We y'all brought that to the game. Y'all niggas brought the crunk. Y'all yeah. niggas brought that. But get what? We brought this. Yeah. Now yeah. tell me I'm lying. Yeah. You did. Yeah. So that, that I had to come up with something the way y'all gonna have to respect this shit, yeah. man. Like okay, y'all did what y'all did, but do what we did. Chilling so circuit. you feel what yeah. I'm saying? You got the right name for it. Yeah, so I so I had to put that, but I got to get the real the real folks to come through here who really like niggas like you, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And I appreciate yeah. you being the real, yeah, yeah. cause I know you wouldn't have came if it wasn't about no shit. You feel me? Cause <laughs> my my dudes ain't finna pull up if it ain't no no shit. You feel me? And he pulled to the chilling circuit. So what that tell you? Yeah. If my dudes pulling up to the chilling circuit, get what you niggas need to be doing. Pulling the fuck up. You dig what I'm saying? So uh, we ended with this, man. Last question. I believe in speaking words into existence, my nigga. You feel me? Manifestation. Words are powerful. You know what I'm saying? What do Mike Deuce see himself at in the next five years? Next five years, I'm going to have everybody around me that been around me. Because the next five years, I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to blow it up. You feel me? Five years, that's too long. Like, you should say five months. Like, there you go. But five <laughs> years, I'm going to be all the way stable and be able to help the people around me get stable if they not stable already. Yeah you know I mean it's gonna it's gonna it ain't gonna be nothing but up in five years for me. I, how I see it and I'm good with money so I know how to make it got make make it do what it do, like make it grow, make it do all that and I can put people in positions. That's why I see me doing it five years, putting people in position. Cause rapping wasn't ever my first choice or none of that. I'm just good at it, I guess. Well, ain't no guessing, cause yeah, I mean, it's getting me where I gotta go. Man. But once I get up there, I really wanna, yeah, I mean, put people in positions to make their dreams come true and, and show them, yeah, I mean, they came from nothing and, and could do it. Like, yeah, I mean, you just gotta have somebody believe in you, and I'll be that person to believe in them, and it'll change their whole life, yeah, I mean, that's how I got my little niggas right up, man, BDG. They next up, yeah, I mean, this is my little nigga youngin. He got damn it, man. He coming up. He 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 coming up. Y'all gonna see him. Mm -hmm. BDG. It's three of them. He with me right now. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, y'all gonna see him. With Tom. BDG. Let get let say something, bro. Say you been over there crying. <laughs> that nigga over. There, I thought he even. <laughs> hey, I don't know what going on. I, I just know you feel me. I ain't trying to steal his show. Now that's his real, show. Hey, you play your position. <laughs> see, a lot of you young niggas need to learn that. Look, you just watch this whole interview, get what that young nigga did. Young nigga played in position, you feel me? And guess what, in reward, get what? Now he get to goddamn do his thing. We ain't even know, I just thought, you feel time. me? He a real you see what I'm saying? Here. Tell yeah, him, yeah. give him a little bit, bro. Man, my name BDG, I mean, get yeah, BDG in, man. I been rapping for like a cool two and a half years and shit. But my homeboys, uh, BDG Kappa and BDG Vuitton, they been doing this rap shit since we was like in uh shit, like the sixth grade type shit. Okay. You feel me? Like so they been already on that rap shit, but I was hooping and shit. How old like, you man? How old am I right now? I'm eighteen. I just turned eighteen. Oh, young nigga, yeah. young nigga. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Next up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you feel me? We was, uh, 
I was hooping shit. I was always like, I was like, hell nah, I ain't trying to rap. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm hooping. <laughs> like, I got a dream. I'm not yeah. gonna rap. This is yeah. everybody rap. Yeah. It was like, everybody hooping, dude. Yeah. Like, you ain't man, hooping no more? Nah, hell nah. Damn, I was gonna say that hoop nigga I cross man. your ass, nigga. Nah, nigga, I, mean, I, I hoop. Can still hoop. We got the hoop, man. We gotta say <laughs> something up, man. Like it on just... some hoop and shit, bro. Like hey, we away. gotta do something, man. Hey, Cause call. Grove Hero was talking shit. You know, I interviewed Grove Hero. I'm talking shit. Grove Hero talking about nigga Memphis, nigga. Hey. We'll put the money up on everybody. Man, Grove Hero, get away. Go call the Department of Tennessee Direction, <laughs> Department of Corrections. And ask them who got the most points in one game in the whole penitentiary the whole time it's been alive, goddammit. What? And I bet you they say my name. Damn, and hold I, up. I, I hit 73 points in one game. What? I got, <laughs> damn, this nigga on some T-head shit. This nigga on some T-head shit, I got, I got a penitentiary record, nigga. This yeah. nigga on some T-head shit. Hold on. <laughs> I got to ask you, because this going to be fuck. This going to be a small-ass world right here, nigga. I thought we were finna end this shit. He done fucked me up. No, no. He done got into this. Do you know a nigga, you, when you were locked up, did you come across a nigga named Lucas Brown? Lucas Brown. He Lucas from Czech. Brown. Lucas Brown. Is he an old head? Nah, he a hoop legend around this motherfucker. You feel me? But he got mm-hmm. locked up in the, like, when he got out of house, like, 12th grade, like, he dropped out like in like ninth grade or some shit. How old is he? Uh, he probably about damn. He older than you. That's right. Yeah. He he like uh like thirty seven. Like thirty seven. Like thirty seven, thirty eight. Yeah, nah, I ain't never get to run across him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga, that you know, what I'm saying he was one of them niggas like that who was like that nigga. Ooh. That nigga dropped out in the ninth grade though, yeah. bro. Like, but it was it was this nigga named Harris Walker from here who played at Tennessee and shit. He was in the 12th grade, Lucas was in the 9th grade. Yeah. Nigga, Lucas gave that nigga like 35, nigga, like in the 9th grade. But this nigga was the legend, though, you yeah. hear me? Yeah. But he dropped out after that, so we ain't yeah. never get to get see. To see what he could have been. So you, I, I know you feel that, yeah. so I know yeah. you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. figured you would get a little uh, kick out of that. But yeah, we ain't gonna talk you to death, man. Where they can find your shit at, little bro? So they can. BDG Young, Instagram. Say it again so I can put it at the bottom. B D G. Youngin, Y O U N G A N. I had to get that nigga to slow it down. The young nigga got big lips. <laughs> hey, but look, now nah, I'm just fucking with you, young nigga. I'm just fucking with you. But check it out. Lil Mo Films, The Chitlin Circuit, Mike Deuce, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out Mo, man. Have me on the platform, man. It's Mike Deuce. Straight like that, man. The Chitlin Circuit, we out, man. Till next time. Boom. Lil' Mo Films, you watching the Chitlin' Circuit, y'all know what it is. Lil' Mo Films, yeah. What's up, man? It's your boy Mike Deuce, man. I'm out way in Chattanooga, man. Shout out to Chattanooga, man. I'm out way down here with Lil' Mo, man, with the Chitlin' Circuit, man. Yeah, you know I mean, we just turned up, did an interview. Y'all go watch that. Run them views up, man. Check in, man. It's Mike Deuce, Guap CEO, man. The real Mike Deuce, man. Chattanooga, love y'all. Deuce. Lil Mo Films, you watching the Chitlin' Circuit, y'all know what it is. Lil Mo Films, man.